Welcome to this channel. Upon the request from our Kung Fu friends, today I'd like to share with you a comprehensive view on ancient Shaolin Kung Fu system. So, after this video, you will have a good sense on what is Shaolin Kung Fu system. And uh, notice that this is Shaolin, it's a Buddhist system. It is not the like Taiji or other Taoist system. So uh, I hope that this is clear, okay? Uh, the Shaolin system and the Taiji system, they don't mix. They are from different uh, type of uh, style. Now, let us first clarify the purpose of this channel. So this is an educational video channel based on historic records and science. So whatever we present here, we need to be able to back up by history records and signs or scientific verifications. Okay, this is important because this channel is not for uh, gossip on secret or uh, promoting any kind of secret. This channel is also not a channel that uh, to teach anyone a secret techniques or a techniques uh, there more. So uh, this channel is not for that. If anybody want to see a techniques demo, then uh, this is the wrong channel for it. Also, this is the channel not for chatting on speculation. We need to base on historic records and signs. Okay, so there's no speculation. I think so. I believe so. My Sifu say so. This grandmaster say so. Uh, those are not on this channel. Here is very strict history record and science. And also this channel is not for pseudo research. Again, research has to be based on historic records and science. Not uh, if I go interview this grandmaster, that grandmaster, what they say. Those are uh, people's opinion. Okay. So, uh, if you want to watch this channel, make sure that you understand this. This is clear. So, uh, that is what this channel is for. This channel is to share what the ancient Chinese culture have and also to share the ancient Chinese technology in health and martial arts. Uh, which can be verified today with science. So, let's get into the topic. This is a summary of the entire Shaolin Kung Fu system. Okay? Or ancient Shaolin Kung Fu system. A complete, comprehensive ancient Shaolin Kung Fu system will have this type of platform okay, or this type of component. So I'm going to go explain to you in the details. So let's start with this what I call the H model. A model for the traditional Chinese martial arts. So if you look at the model, which is based on heart rate, training goal, and physiological state, above this red line, above this red line, those are martial arts. Those are fighting art stuff. Okay? So if you look at this, 
it is dealing with impulse momentum, accelerated impulse momentum, full accelerated impulse momentum with a training goal of fighting, fighting, okay, and this is condition for fighting. So from here up, that is for martial art or for fighting or an uncombat. One must have this, every details of it, if it is involved in fighting. From this line downwards, that is on the body conditioning, the recovery, and uh, the healing, the qigong, those parts. So with this H model, we know that traditional Chinese martial arts have two parts, the fighting part, and this is for the body conditioning, for health, for spiritual, for qi, and so forth. So it has these two parts. Now, let's look into the martial or fighting part. Well, as we know, based on the Q model, which I explained in detail, uh, the modeling of the General Chi Ji Guang chapter 14, we have this principle and this four level of uh, accomplishments or training need to be done in order to be uh, satisfied as a fighting arts. So over here, the first level, one need to have the functional training, which be able to support all the activity ab above. And then the second level is the four aspects of uh, the unarmed combat art, or the, the Chinese unarmed combat art. And then on top of that is the dynamic momentum three-dimensional play, where you play distant angle and level. And then on top of that, you have this moment, momentum combination play, okay? So there's a four level in traditional Chinese martial arts since 460 years ago. So uh, if you want to know about the details, you can go check out my video on the Q model, okay? Now, let's look at this briefly. So this is the level two the four aspects, okay? Single leg be able to accelerate, making use of instability for kicking, for throwing, all sort of stuff. Those are the first aspect. The second is the, uh, the, 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 the fears in attack. So the first one is the clever of using the, 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 the uh, body weight or momentum or instability to attack and uh, to, to, to achieve the fighting goals. The second is the fierceness in attack using arm and momentum and so forth. The third is on the very speedy aspect, which is uh, for the uh, throw, uh, capture, takedown, so forth. The fourth is for dodging, which is the soft. In Chinese, when people talk about solve, it is about not confront or not uh, crush into people head on. Okay, so it's dodging. So since 460 years ago, you have this four aspect, which is the second level of a Kung Fu practice or training. This is what one needs to learn. This is basic. And then on top of the second, one get into the three-dimensional momentum play, which is one need to play on all different variations. You can go into the ground, go up to the uh, standing, and then take down, and uh, all sort of stuff. And in order to be able to play this three-dimensional play, momentum play, one need to know the long fist, the long fist art, and then the short strike arts, and then the ground fighting arts. So the idea is 
one can say start from this long fist here and going down for the ground kick and then one can get up for elbow for, for example so there is the three dimension momentum plate or the level three now this itself up to level three is not complete yet one need to get up to the level four which is the momentum combination or today <coughs> many of us use the term combo like in western boxing you have many different combo in mma you have many different combo so that is the momentum combinations and uh, for example this is an example of combinations even though it going down attack low it can come up based on the opponent attack left right attack close range and changing <coughs> so in order to uh, have the skill of fighting one need to have all those four levels of training without that that is no martial art training so unless one get into the momentum combinations one by the ancient definitions the chi chi guang definition one really don't know martial arts or an armed combat art and one thing we need to be really careful is that the first thing is all this thing is playing with momentum okay so for example these four aspects it is playing with momentum like your mass multiplied by your velocity okay your momentum you have to generate that momentum and then uh, be able to handle that momentum and at the uh, the, 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 the three-dimensional or level three when it can go from one to the other uh, uh, type of uh, the, the, the striking art or fighting art one need even better skill in handling momentum okay say in the the level two probably one can change from one strike to another strike non-stop to another strike non-stop another strike non-stop so it is under only one category or one aspect however when you get into the the uh the, the, the level three this is going to jump from here, can going down from here, and then going down from here and going up, whatever. So one need to know how to recycle momentum. You cannot have a start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. It has to go. It has to flow. Okay. So that's what flow is defined. You can you can handle the, the recycling momentum you always be able to reuse your momentum from the first attack to the second attack and then using the second attack momentum for the third attack so far so far now when you get to the level four which is a combination one need to be a uh, very uh, skillful in handling this momentum already and so like for example from here you can go from one to uh, the other move and then you go start to go from different type of aspect different type of aspect or angle or uh, the, uh, the, the, the distance change one need to be able to recycle the momentum big time okay however there's not end to this it is so special on the level four is because it is alive one who is good at level four be able 
to create their own combo. And they can even fighting with different combo based on their opponent. Only at that level, it is called advanced. It is called an art, martial art. Before one can do this, or be able to create, like uh, if you study music, you just uh, keeping mimic playing music, then you are not the artist yet. The artist is those who know how to compose music, create their own. Okay, so this is very important to know. Okay, so so it's very important. To know that one have to have this, so there is no such thing as just uh, this hand technique doing that, that hand technique doing that, because those kind of stuff not even qualify for the level two. And not to mention, if they don't have recycling momentum, they do not have level one. Recycling momentum is level one. Okay, those are the functional training. So I hope that this is really clear for you, okay? If we want to talk about fighting like a pro, a pro, then it better be here. This is just a beginner. They only want a certain, know a certain thing. So if you, if you just know a certain techniques, okay? Even if one know one aspect of the four aspect, that is still level two, not complete. Level 3, one have to go all this, and level 4, it is a life. It is, sky is the limit. This is what Chi Chi Guang said, one momentum, one momentum transform to another momentum to defeat the opponent. So hopefully that, that is clear. Now, anybody want to know the details is uh, on this momentum stuff, on what I'm, I have just presenting to you, okay? On this part, can get my book, the, uh, the Kung Fu 1560 and Restricting Wing Chun. Inside there, you can see how the Ming military influenced the Shaolin martial and how Shaolin martial influenced the uh, Wing Chun 1850s at Red Boat Uprising and all in the details. So this is uh, from these two books. Okay? Now, so we settle the fighting part. The fighting part. Okay, so this book, Wing Chun Inception, actually presenting this model, this H model, so that you'll be able to see, to categorize uh, the, the, the martial art practice, uh, and uh, you can go get scientific. Like in this, in this sense, you know the physiological state, the training goal, the heart rate zone. When you get into this, what is your heart rate you, 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 you need to expect or you'll be able to play with. And uh, you need to go into the anaerobic. Okay, this is aerobic, this is anaerobic, and so forth. Okay, because you know the heart rate, you'll be able to know. So that is how you can map in today's spot signs. And uh, this is spot signs. This is spot science stuff. Okay? So, so uh, that is the fighting part. Okay? So, if anybody claim they study a martial arts, uh, they need to know which level they are in. Okay? And if one wants to claim to be a grandmaster, then they better to be at this level. It's like a musician who be able to compose good music, which is the grandmaster of music. A master in the music need to be able to compose 
music, not just playing other people's uh, 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 music or just speculate on things, but one never know what the entire view is. Okay? So that's how it is. Now, on the other part, over here, this is what people call the internal part. This is how you have a lower abs breathing or the Sing Chi to Tan Tian. Okay? And of course, in today, because we have the heart rate zone, we can verify it with signs. Okay? And uh, this is the force flow. Or well, people who sometimes make a big deal out of this thing, which is not at all. This force flow, force flow, it is just this. How you handle, how you direct your force in and out your body, or how you handle your strength. Okay? So that is that part. And uh, to be more advanced, one be able to then have all this combination of your chi, your breathing, your mass, your velocity, action, reaction force, all sort of stuff. This is what people call internal. Okay? And we, we can actually uh, monitor or verify many of the internal training okay so uh, that is that part now all this part can be read in my book Wing Chun Inception Wing Chun Matrix <coughs> and Basic Wing Chun Queen Art and Science the details is that how the how why what and the process is, is in these three books. Okay? Now, on here, there's another part of it, which is the Qigong or meditation part. Okay? Which is uh, belong to this group, under this group. So, that too, it is clearly presented in the Six Healing Sound Book of Mind. Okay, Six Healing Sound is used in Shaolin or the uh, uh, Chinese Buddhist art for actually uh, healing or strengthen their body, internal organs. Okay, and then the meditations. Okay, and of course it's about Buddhist meditations and the Qigong and so forth. So this is the part which is uh, govern this internal or qigong or meditation. So notice that they are different stuff. Okay, so the, 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 the thing you want to take away from here is this is martial art. And there are levels here need to be known. Where is one? What does one uh, practice? If one train only one of those, for example, Forget about go fight the MMA uh, uh, opponent. Unless one have this, one really will not be able to face an MMA pro. If you want to be MMA pro, you have to have this four level kind of stuff. Okay? That's an example. And also this so-called internal fajing. It got nothing to do with play with this in martial thing. See this internal thing. It can serve as a help and aids to help this thing. But it is not directly linked to this martial art, the fighting art stuff. So one need to be really clear. Okay? One simply need to be aware of that those so-called internal stuff, the most is just like this, over here. This is fighting stuff, okay? If one never go 
up to the momentum combination, one never is a pro, not a master, not a grandmaster. If one do not satisfy to know all the four aspects, one is not even have a, 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 a full basic. So that is the thing. And if one could not recycle momentum, then forget about fighting. Okay? Because nobody is going to wait for you after one punch and then you stop, start another new punch. It's not like that. You go watch, say, for example, the MMA uh, game or the Thai boxing game, you can see that. Okay? Or the Judo Olympic, you can see that nobody stopped that. Everything is momentum. Okay? So this is, this is where it is. Okay? So with this summary, you know the place of each of this. You know the place of each of them. You know the location. You know what you learn or you know what you have not learned. 